Hi, I welcome you all to this session on creating employees sub group and group. In the previous sessions that we have, we were discussing about that uh, enterprise structures. Under enterprise enterprise structures, we will discuss about company scope, personal areas, and personal sub areas. We have created all these things. Now we will move on to the next structure that is called personal structure. Under personal structures, there are three elements. One is employee group then employee subgroup and payroll accounting area. We have discussed all these in the earlier videos. So basically when we talk of uh, 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 employee group, so normally the companies have their exclusive employee groups. This exclusive employee group can be defined as active employees or inactive employees or permanent employees or temporary employees, you can call it provisional also. So accordingly, as per the client requirement, that HR consultant has to configure the system. So similarly, when we discuss about this employee subgroup, this can be active, okay. active can be defined as salaried, can be trainee, wage earners or like uh, hourly earners. Okay, maybe day basis if, uh, that uh, payment is made. So accordingly, employee subgroup has been created. So uh, uh, today in this sessions, we will create some of the uh, say that uh, employees group and subgroup. So let us go here. We will go start. We will start from SPRO. SPRO. Okay, so then we can go for reference uh, uh, IMG. Then we can go to uh, like enterprise structures. Then we can go to definitions. We can click on this node. Then we have the options here like HRM options. So under HRM there is also option employee group creations. Okay. So let me tell you, let me clarify that this code when we create certain kind of employee group, it is a, it can be one al alphabetical, it can be also numeric. That means numeric, it, it is always a single digit one. So if we say uh, uh, the code can be created like zero, to 9 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 like 10 uh, up to 10 9 uh, that means 10 digits we are getting here okay. so then uh, we can use also a b c d like up to z the 26 26 plus uh, uh, 10 means 36 quotes are there here actually since, since this is a learning system training system so many quotes have been created so suppose we want to create another code like uh, what we need to do that means we have to see which code is available here like actually this is not actually uh, that suggested to use symbol like plus minus actually somebody has uh, created but it is not suggested let us see what is available 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay this is not available Similarly, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, uh, J, K, L, M, N, O, O is available. O is available. We, we will create a code with O. Okay. O is available. O, P, uh, M, N, O, P, Q is available. We can create also Q. Okay. Q is available. So, we can create O for active and Q for passive, okay, means the, uh, it, or inactive, we can write that inactive, okay, so we can create this, so then we have found some of the, uh, the code that is available, so we can go for new entries, so then employee group, we can uh, create like O, O, O for active, O 
for active okay active employees similarly q is also available q for not active means inactive okay q for not active okay so uh, q for not active so then we can go for so we have created two groups even if more number of groups we can create there is no issue this is the way that we can follow like uh, suppose some other course we can use like uh, uh, a b c d or one two three four if the, the codes are not used so this way we can also like provisional we can also write okay so like this we have to save it so a tr number is once again generated okay. this is very important to remember this so a tr number is generated so now you see q o and q have been created data is saved successfully we have created employee group okay. then we will create employee sub group we will go back similarly we have the options here employee sub group so uh, we can uh, click on here okay so see this is uh, for employee sub group we have to use two digit, digit uh, two digit numbers it can be even if alpha it can be also numeric it can be alpha numeric so we have to see what are the codes because same code cannot be recreated here or edited here okay we have to find what are the codes that are available we can see like 0 1 0 2 13 14 95 these are the so we can use so like two codes we will use here also 30 something let us say let us let us try whether the code is available or not okay let us try whether code is available or not so here what we will do we will create some of the uh, employee subgroup suppose take for example like i will write take for example employee subgroup like no, 51 uh, I will write 51 for salaried, salaried, salaried employees, okay. salaried employees, okay. 51 for salaried employees. So then we can also uh, write like 52 for Delhi, Delhi wage earner. earners. Okay. So we can save it. Okay, that means these codes are uh, readily available. We can create it. So these have been created. So this is how actually employee group and employee subgroups are created. So in the uh, next session, so what we will do, we will validate, we will validate and we will also link to the data.